Hey everyone, um, it's Megan here, and I just wanted to give an update um, to what's been going on in my life and since I've been out of prison. Um, so, I have kind of come out of my shell. Um, I actually connected with an old friend. Um, she wasn't like my other friends who were, were dope heads and stuff like that. She was not into that. She was one of the good ones, you know. Uh, and when I was on drugs, she was one that I stopped talking to because, you know, I was like ashamed of um, being around anybody. I was I was on dope. So uh, anyway, uh, I reconnected with her and she told me that, and this made me so emotional. I'm not going to cry right now, but she told me that she never saw me any different. Like, she always knew I was there. You know what I mean? Like, she knew that I was always there. Even if I was on dope, even if I was doing awful, she just knew, you know? And it just made me feel really good. So, um, I've been reconnecting with her, and we've been hanging out a few times a week, like, and I don't do that, like, I don't go out, I don't go out and do anything, because I just don't like people anymore, and I don't trust anybody, and just, it's just, just really gotten me out of my shell, and I'm really happy about it, um, so anyways, I wanted to talk about also, um, my health, um, not that anybody cares, but, uh, I, I want to go get checked out like I want to take care of my health like I'm not exactly sure what's going on with me um but because I've gained so much weight since I've been out um I think I have high blood pressure and uh I Randall and I my fiance we've been trying to have a kid for a long time and it just hasn't happened and I really want a kid. Like, it's my turn. My sister's had two kids. My my close cousin, my first cousin, who I'm pretty close with, well, sort of, um, he's got another kid on the way. I mean, it's my turn. I'm almost 30 years old, and I just I want to have a child. When I was in prison, this lady told me that I was going to have a baby girl in my early 30s. And it's so funny that she said that she's like some kind of psychic or whatever. You know, you, you meet crazy people in there. Anyway, and um, I, uh, I I always knew in my heart, like I, oh, I just, I don't know, but I've always known that I was going to have a little girl. And I, I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but I, I've always known that. And so when she told me that, I was like, oh, my God. But anyway, um, so I have something else to talk about, and I am just so torn up about it. Um, so my best friend, uh, he was my best friend. Um, I'm not going to say who it was. Um, he was my best friend for like 10 years. And, you know, I got on drugs and I pushed him away. Um, he's gay. And, uh, he's a great person and he, um, me and him have had a lot of fun. Like we, we were two peas in a pod. We could not be separated. And, but because I was on drugs, um, I pushed him away and then there would be times where I got sober and, uh, he'd have nothing to do with me and I, and I would apologize and apologize and, uh, there's more to it. Like, I wasn't a good person, you know. Um, and I am I would blow him off a lot. You know, I would, like, not talk to him. And he'd ask me to go hang out, and I would ditch him. You know, like, I was not a good person. I was high. I was drunk. Like, I just. And, um, but I, I would come around and apologize to him. And I felt like he would just never accept my apology. Like, it was just never good enough. And I tried really hard at times, and he just wouldn't accept me back. And I was so devastated because he was my best friend. And, like, we grew up together, you know. And um, But anyways, I felt like he judged me. And I'm not sure if he did, but I felt like he did. And I felt like he was... He felt like he was above me. That's how I felt about him, that that he was above me. Like, he, he was too good for me now, 
because I was a dopehead and he's just being successful and get rid of her. That, that's how I felt about it. And anyways, I ended up in prison. Um, mind you, I didn't have any friend write me in prison. No, none of my friends wrote me in prison. And I had a lot of friends um, when I was about 20 something. I, not a lot of friends, but I had a group of friends. It was like four or five girls um, and one guy, Josh. Oh God, I said his name. Shit, I'm gonna have to bleed that out. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, anyway, I, nobody's gonna know, nobody's gonna watch this, um, so, uh, I just found out that, um, he's facing four years prison, um, and the crazy thing is, like, I hadn't talked to him in a long time, and when I got out, he called me and asked me about prison, and, like, called me and told me, like, what happened to him, and why he's, he's facing this time, like, <sighs> so you have nothing to do with me for all these years, and I know that I fucked up our relationship, but you have nothing to do with me, and then... And I felt like you judged me for all this shit. And, I, like, now you want to talk to me because you, we have something in common now. Like, man, it got me fucked up. Like, I don't know. Just, why talk to me now? Like, you're going through some shit now and you want you want my help? You want, you want, I don't know what you want, you know. That, and it pissed me off. Um, I mean, of course I talked to him, you know, I'm not going to be some kind of bitch, but in, in my mind, I was thinking, like, you kidding me? You know, you wouldn't have anything to do with me when I was going through the, the worst time of my life. Like, I mean, he tried some, you know, he tried to be in my life, but he wouldn't accept it, you know, like, after I would try and, <sighs> it goes both ways. I don't know how to explain this, but, like, I was upset. Like, now you want something to do with me. I haven't talked to you in years. Now you want to tell me you're going to prison? Like, I, and I can't believe it. And the reason is just blows me away. Um, it's something that I would never expect. I don't even know. I, I can't say it on here because I've already said his name, but it's shocking. And... Sometimes you just never know about people. I never in my wildest dreams ever thought that he would be going to prison for the reason he is. And it's really devastating to me. And I would like to know the whole story. And I don't. And I haven't talked to him. But I pray for him a lot. And uh, he's going to go through some hell. He has no idea what is about to happen to him, and all I can do is pray for him. Um, so, also, um, my mental health has been okay. Um, I've been taking my meds regularly, uh, no big deal. Um, but I've also been drawing again, and, um, I mean, there's a few things, like, uh, sorry, this is my room. I live in a garage. I don't know if anybody knew that. I live in a garage because I just got out of prison, and there's no place for me to go. So, anyway, um, let's see. I'm going to show you um, some drawings I did. Some of them are stupid, but whatever. Um, okay, this is an owl. Oh, wait, let me see. This is an owl, okay, and then this is nothing compared to what I'm about, oh, well, and then I got bored and I drew a Christmas tree and some Christmas presents and stuff because it's Christmas time, and then this is my dog Lucy, and so far this is like one of the best ones I've done, I mean, I, look, like, I, nobody knows really, but... I, uh, I used to draw portraits and all that stuff, not just in prison, I did that too, but I would draw just some badass things, and I would sell them, and I would, 
I've done a portrait of my grandpa, of my deceased cousin, Mark Allen, and um, me and Randall. I've done a lot of stuff, so uh, I just, that's a passion that I have. So overall, what I'm saying is I, I'm doing pretty good now. Um, I still have a lot of issues about my anger. Like, if I go into a grocery store and the, the greeter at Walmart asks me for my receipt, I flip out. Like, I... I don't want them to look at my freaking receipt, you know, I don't know, I just, I know it sounds so stupid, but that's the truth, um, but anyways, I just wanted to give an update, and you know what, I really need to make my videos a little better, I'm always in the same spot, and I'm, um, but yeah, I, I'm doing pretty good, um, and hopefully everything else just falls into place, because everything's good right now. I'm with my family. I'm sober. I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. I'm I just feel rejuvenated, like like clean, you know? And I've never felt that way. I, I haven't felt that way in years since I was like thirteen years old. After that I stayed high. I'm drunk. And um even though I've gained all this weight, I'm, I'm, I, I'm morbidly obese. I don't, nobody, I mean, I, you can't really see it in my videos, but yeah, because I, I don't really want to show you, but, uh, it, thank no. you. my sister. She bought me a bag of ice. Not that kind of ice. She bought me literally a bag of ice. Uh, I'm one of those ice chewers that like I chew on ice all day long. Like I think that means something like iron deficiency or something. Anyway, um, well I'm gonna leave it here um, and thanks for watching. Or, Anybody who watches this, I know I've, I got a comment. So there was a lady who commented on this. Thank you, um, Stacy, I believe it. Thank you so much. Like, that meant a lot to me um, that you commented uh, and actually watched my stuff. So, all right. Thanks for watching. I'll keep updating you. And, I, I mean, I have a ton of videos on my channel and keeping up with my life. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.